All right, what is going on, everyone? We are about a minute late here. Yeah, it says night one here. So let's get going. Sensors have led you to the origin of the distress signal. Yet another handheld device, just like the one the elves gave you. However, you don't see any elves around. Instead, the device is surrounded by elephants. They must have gotten loose, lost in the tunnels. One of the elephants apparently figured out how to turn on the distress signal. The ground rumbles again, much stronger this time. What kind of cave is this exactly? See on the cave with your handheld device. It reports mostly what igneous rock, some ash pockets, some pressurized gas, magma. This isn't just a cave, it's a volcano. You need to get the elephants out of here quickly. Your device estimates you have 30 minutes before the volcano erupts. Oh geez. So you don't have to uh, you don't have time to go back the way you came. You scan the cave for other options and pressure release valves. You aren't sure how such a system got into the volcano. You, uh, but you don't have time to complain. Your device produces a report, your puzzle input, and each valve's flow rate uh, if it were opened in pressure per minute in the tunnels you could use to move between the valves. Okay, so this is like a graph problem. Uh, there's even a valve in the room you and the elephants are currently standing in labeled AA, and you estimate it will take you one minute to open a single valve and one minute to follow any tunnel from one valve to another. What is the most pressure you could release? For example, suppose you had the following uh, output. So valve AA has a flow rate of zero. Uh, tunnels lead to D, I, I, and D. Okay, so we're gonna have to graph this. All the valves between closed, you start at AA, but it must be uh, damaged or jammed or something. Its flow rate is zero, so there's no point in opening it. However, you could spend one minute moving to BB and another opening it. Doing so would release pressure during the remaining whatever. Okay, then you could spend your third minute moving. Okay, making your way through all the tunnels. You could, prob uh, you could probably open many or all the valves by the time 30 minutes have elapsed. However, you need to release as much pressure as possible. To need a thought methodical instead, consider this approach. Uh, so, no valves are open, you go to DD, that's one minute, uh, you open DD, so then DD is open and releasing 20 pressure, you move to CC, DD is open and 20 pressure, you move to BB, DD is open, you open BB, BB and DD are open, 33, okay, this makes sense to me, and so, uh, what is the most pressure you can release in 30 minutes? Okay, um, cool. So the way that I would probably just do this is, um, <sighs> let's see. So it is a graph traversal problem. We're actually trying to optimize like a score. So, um, I mean, depth first search is the thing that comes to mind that may be, might not work out that well. Um, we can try that though. Um, kind of depends on how much branching there is. So let's just take a look. It looks like every time you have like one or two, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Play queens under pressure. Oh no. Um, it looks like, like I don't know. Yeah, the naive approach is to just um, to go for all the options. So every time you can go somewhere, you can open a valve and go somewhere else. Um, Probably shouldn't be, there's probably just like an optimal way to do this. Um, but I don't know, let's just get at it. We need to parse this out. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, get going on this. So um, we're going to define a data class called room, and it's gonna have a name string, and then it's going to have a, uh, 
val uh, rate, and it's going to have uh, tunnels. What is this? Int. Um, and it's going to have a list of places that it can go. And we'll just call this val, actually. Um, I'm just going to do this equals, oop, this is paths mutable list of string. Okay. And so I'm going to parse these out. So this is just going to be um, val all paths equals lines. And then somebody actually kind of mentioned to me that there is like a better way to do this, but uh, I don't know. I'll just, I'm just going to do it the way that we have been doing it. Um, so val uh, a, I can do a, b, and I'm gonna uh, split it dot split on. This is a fine way to split, and then val name equals a dot split on space, and we're gonna get the first one, and then the flow rate is actually going to be um, a. And let me see, we can just do a uh, dot split on this and then get the second part and we'll do two int. And this is, oop, below. Okay, we should just try running things periodically. <laughs> um, bow out. Um, outgoing, oop, outgoing, yeah. um, and this is going to be b dot, uh, remove prefix, um, so it's either valve or valves, but it doesn't matter actually, so let's actually just, let's do this a different way. Valve, um, and then we're gonna get the second part of this. This is after this, and then we can uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna do remove prefix s, and then dot remove prefix space. And then dot split on this. Oh my gosh, this is just like a disaster, but it doesn't really matter. Um, this should be a list of that's uh, split on this. So this should be a list of strings. Okay, and then we can do room name low. Uh, lr equals this, r dot paths dot add all outgoing. And then, let me do this. I added this debug. Uh, someone mentioned this to me. True. Oh, that's not great. Wait, list of booleans? Oh. Uh, we just want R. So this is, that was excellent. Uh, so this just prints whatever is in it. Um, and I'm actually going to do um, fun to string. Uh, I think I can do override that. That. Override this. And then I want to just uh, put in name, rate, paths. Okay, there we go. All right, cool. I think this looks good. Oh, wait, no, this is valve. Ha, ah, don't do that. 
Uh, where did I screw this up? This should be one. Yeah. Glad that I checked that. Okay, A, A0, B, D, E, B. Okay. Um, so that's kind of the easy part. Um, let's actually put these in a map so I can do, so C8 by, and then I can do um, it dot name. And now I'm gonna debug on that because I want to be able to look them up by the label. Okay, that seems good. So now that I have this, um, let's go back to this problem. We have 30 minutes and we wanna figure out how much, um, what is the most we can do. So yeah, the, normally the way that you would do this is you would just create like a, data class state, um, and this is going to be um, I'm not actually sure what's going to be in the state right now. It'll probably be like uh, val open open valves maybe uh, is a list of uh, I should probably have be a list of map or a map of the room to which ones are open. Um, we will come back to that. So val start equals. So my plan is to just start in one spot and then just generate the full list of, of these things. Uh, where is it? Of options and then just go through all of them. We could probably like prioritize ones that have a, like moving to ones that have a higher flow rate, but it may not be like that feasible. Let's see how big the actual input is. Okay, so this is a pretty big input and but at each place there's only like two options so i mean two to the 30 is a lot these do have like there's lots of things that have zero though um so let's let's think about this for a sec um, so what we want to do is we want to get like some tunnel open the as fast as we can, right? Because the sum, the total is going to be like, uh, like if we can open something on the second round, and then we get that, um, we get that value for 20. Oh gosh, okay. I don't think we can just actually random walk this. Uh, maybe I'll implement it, but... Like if there's two options and we have, um, and we have 30 rounds that a trillion options. Can't tell if that's a lot. It's probably not actually that much. So maybe we can do it. Let's just try it. Um, so, okay, so the state is actually gonna have to have um, val uh, current room uh, string, and it's also gonna have to have uh, val um, it's gonna have to have val um, current score int uh, long everything should be longs 
I mean, these are ints, but let's just do them long anyways. Low to long. I got PTSD from last night, guys. Like, I'm not doing that again. I'll just end long. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into all paths. And then I'm going to uh, get... So I have to start at AA. Oh, and this is also going to have val turns remaining. Hint. Okay, val turns equals 30. Um, uh, val current score equals 0. And oh, val open vals equals of string long. Okay. So what we need to do is we're going to do a depth first search. So that means that we need to have a stack of the thing like the states. Stack of places to visit, right? So val um, visits equals readable list of and this is going to be string. Um, and then let's just say uh, places to visit is all paths dot. Oh, this actually has, so start dot paths. OK, and so we need to fan out to those. So what we're going to do, oh my gosh, um, sorry, I'm like, oh, uh, it wants me to do this. OK, so this is location. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say state equals all of this, right? Turns remaining 30. Current room. We'll do room. So that's location. Um, and then you do current score is 0 and open. Open valves is nothing. So I have literally just copied everything onto this. Okay, and then what we want to say is we want to say for p in. We're going to copy this out into a function in a second. Um, for p in the places that we are connected to. Uh, oop. We could also open this valve, perhaps. OK. So what we want to do is we want to simulate going, uh, uh, sorry. Simulate doing all the actions and see which is best. Okay. So this is going to return long, and then this is going to say val best score. And um, this doesn't this isn't quite going to make sense, but I'm going to say current score. Um, plus best score, right? Or no, we want to. We just want to return the best score, actually. So we're gonna pass. So we're gonna say visit e and. 
Uh, we're going to pass this the state. And that's it. Okay. Then this, actually, all of this needs to go into the visit. Um, we'll say now score equals this if score, actually I'll say best score equals max of best score and score. So best score here is the current score. Um, this is good. We're making slow progress, but okay. Actually, this is kind of what we started out doing, but I'll just I'll keep doing this. Um, so when we visit, we want to say um, allocation. Oop, I'm gonna copy some of this and get rid of it, right? So. Okay, so just going somewhere actually takes away a thing. So the new turn is um, state dot turns remaining minus one, right? And then the current score is state dot current score. We need to uh, let's do check valves here. Um, so actually we'll just do that. It's current score plus state dot open valves values sub. Right? Okay, that's cool. Um this we're gonna ignore for now. And then this is fine. Okay, so we're actually gonna visit and then let's do our check here. Um, so on the last turn, right, so we just moved, it says valves releasing 81. So you do count that one. Like you count it again, even though you can't do anything on the last turn, right? So if turn equals zero, we're going to return the current score. Otherwise, we're gonna keep doing what we're doing, right? So, um, basically this, and we'll actually end up removing that stuff up there, right? But um, best score equals. Okay, so we do need to create a new state here, so val, new state equals state dot um probably actually don't need to be creating the state object but i already did it so uh oop. so turn uh location my turns is actually backwards here but that's fine uh turn location state what else goes into this? Current score. And then uh, state dot open valves. And I probably could have actually just cloned this. So the only one that's the same here is this, right? So in this case, we're going to say. Uh, This is new location. So this is like, uh, I should actually call this like move to, right? So this is like, go to this new place, count all the stuff. If we're out of turns, do that. Uh, otherwise, go through all the places we could visit and uh, get the max here. Okay. And this is return best score, right? Okay, so happy with this. Uh, this actually needs to pass in new state. 
The other thing we could do here is um if I uh, let's see if location dot rate is greater than or uh, greater than zero because we don't want to waste time uh, opening these and uh, state dot open valves dot we're gonna say not contains key right now I'm saying contains key but we want to say so this is saying uh, open valve and uh, and if we were gonna do that, we would do it passing the new state, right? Let's see. So in this example, right, they, uh, like no valves, move to DD. Here they open valve, so, uh, actually we should just mirror how they do it so this should be one and then we can do plus one um okay so here i can actually open the valve and then compute what it was it's just a little bit easier um from like a state keeping perspective and then we're gonna do all the same stuff though so all of this is the same um but we're in the same location, so this doesn't matter. Um, this is state, state turns remaining plus whatever. Uh, this is 30, this needs to be 30 as well. Okay, so when we open the valve, the first thing we need to do is actually, um, Actually, we can just add it here. State dot current room dot rate, right? Because it was actually open on the previous one and we count it here. And then moving forward, what we want to do is add it into the, um, the list of open valves. So, see state.current room and then instead of doing this um, we will say let's see this is state object Oop. probably gonna get myself turned around a little bit here but I think I can keep it. okay so what I want to do is just say uh, val open valves equals state dot uh, oh yeah to mutable map and then open valves dot uh, put is it state dot current room and then we're gonna put state dot is it uh, oop, current room dot rate, and this should actually be the name. I probably could have just put the actual room, like this mapping is somewhat nonsensical, but it doesn't matter. That's what we have right now. And then instead of doing this open valves, we'll just do the new one that we've added stuff to, and then we don't have to do this. Okay. So let's see, best score, we're doing the same thing here, and then we have our new open valves. And then we don't need to check for this because we just opened the valve, so that's not an option. We'll do state dot current room paths p best score. I don't know, something like this kind of should work. Um, so let's actually just say we're starting it's the turns remaining turn um, okay so let's see turn number 
you can grab this. Current score is zero long. Open valves is map of. I think all that's good. And then we can just say, um, since we know we don't need to open the one that we're in, right? We can just do state dot current current room dot paths and um, we'll just do this dot map. Uh, we're gonna do visit. Where's this? Oh, move to. Um, it state max val result. All right, this, who knows? I didn't actually test any of this, so this could go like horribly wrong. Um, what I should actually do is I don't know if there's any good way for me to like figure out how quickly this is like pruning stuff. Um, okay, this is what I want to do. So this, uh, it's like, I mean, immediately obvious this is horribly slow, right? <laughs> Um, so we're just going to do count zero, and then what I'm going to do is count each time uh, we move somewhere. So I'm going to say if count plus plus mod um, million equals zero. Um, And this should be a long. Yeah. Um, and what did I calculate this as? Oh, geez. Okay, this is a lot, but it's like, uh, I don't know. There's like a trillion. So it'll take a little bit here, but it shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Let's see. Um, so there are a trillion entries. The number that I copied out is, oh geez, okay, 200 million, that's not great. This is probably gonna take too long. Okay, so what we actually need to do here though is pruning, right? So if, um, if we're making like really boneheaded results, then, Actually, this number is undercounting a little bit, but that's fine. Um, yeah, so how would we do that if we are So one way to do this is actually to just like memoize stuff, right? Because right now we're just visiting the same spots over and over. So um, so memoizing is like a um, is a word that basically means we're gonna remember um, remember the best scores. From a given state, so um, so cash. I don't know how big to make this, but um, it will significantly count cut down on stuff. So um, when we return the best score here, we're gonna say um, we're gonna add it to the cash like that. And then we also have to check it, right? So, so um, this is saying the state. Okay, so I can say if uh, 
cache dot contains t state uh, return uh, cache state. All right. Oh, I already did a check key, dude. I don't know why I'd have to check that this is not null. Like, I don't think this cache can hold null, anyways. Okay, it returned zero, that's bad. So let's just do this. You're telling me it did check every possibility? That seems unlikely. Okay. Uh, so this is what I wanna do. Okay, so went through a hundred. That's kind of interesting. Um, so let's double check our state um, thing. So val, val, and val. All these seem good. These will all be considered part of the cache key. Um, what is actually getting returned? It's a best score. And the best score here, let's see, is current score. This seems fine, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out um, maybe I'm not. Do I ever go to open valve? If location. Of the place that I'm currently at. Um, and it's not here. It's just like try open valve. Okay. Uh, okay. What is going on? Wait, am I running the... Oh, I am running this one. Okay, that is kind of weird, but let's... I just want to go check this. Okay, so this is actually going through a lot more, but I still don't know why... Okay, try open valve. Uh, okay, maybe I, I must be calling this wrong. So... Um... Score. Right, because this should be... Where is my score? Oh, count. Forget that. Wait, current score 20. Okay, how's it getting less than 20 then? <laughs> What's going on? You know? Uh, current score. So, if turn 30, return current score. Okay, otherwise, best score. And then this is the new state. And okay, let's check this because this is traversing down, so this is good. Like, turn, turn, best score. I know, dude. Let's uh, let's print some stuff out, right? Okay, return best score 40. What the actual hell, dude? Wait, 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 what am I returning? Okay, this one must be going... 
strong, right? Current score. And this is best score. Dude, 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 dude. What is going on? Am I not setting it? Okay, let's just frickin' walk through it, I guess. I don't know. Okay, this is like after we've opened a valve, right? So we're like, uh... Okay. 612. Let's just go to here, I guess. Oh, I'm an idiot. I don't do anything with that. <laughs> score equals best score equals max of best score. There we go. Oh, I didn't just do that. The same thing here, right? Um. Okay. No, no. Don't hit debug. Just run it. Okay. This should work now. That took a bit. Six twelve. Are we cool with that? No. So, where are we going wrong? Um, so we may be losing some open valves somewhere, or let's see, this goes here in a new state and then we're moving. Uh, move to, let's do this. Um, maybe in the end we actually want to pass back like a state, right? So let's just pass back the best state, I guess. Um, so this would be a state. We can just do... Um, so open a valve is state dot copy, and then we can do turn turn um, equals turn, and then we can do we're still in the same room. Uh, we can do current score equals current score, and open valves is. Uh, there's a new open valves. Okay, like that. And then this is like this, but instead of current score, it's best score. I guess this is actually like best. Best state? I don't know, equals new, st new state. Right? Oh, it's like that. And then what we actually want to do here is like this is going to return a state val path state. I don't understand. Like the the caching seemed to work really well. Um, so I'm not really sure like what went wrong totally. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, best state equals. Uh, I'll say just if past state dot score. All we care about is score, right? Open. Oh, this doesn't actually know that it's returning state yet because it's not. Uh, dot current score is greater than best state dot score. I'm going to say best state equals path state, and then we will return. This just returns best state. Cool. Um, I think this ends up being the same here, right? So 
except we don't have a new open valves. Uh, this is going to be state to state. This is going to be. Um, then we already did this change earlier. So in the other place, we add. Where is it? Max. This doesn't quite work anymore, right? Val uh, path state, and then if path state dot current score is great, a score current score, uh, s score equals. I just have like a little bit of. I just wanted to lay, name my stuff well, you know? <laughs> uh, and then the same. Okay. Oop. Okay. Now we've done all of those changes to basically get back to where we were. We can just say dot max, uh, max by, and then this is going to be a dot current score. Oop. And this is current score, and then let's just print that, see what we got. Okay, so it's still that, turn 30, room is C2DD. Let's see. But they're like kind of different. I mean, even in the end here, it's like you're not even doing anything. You're just releasing them. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we actually get all of the Wait, what the heck? This doesn't even open all the valves? Okay, something for sure has gone wrong here. So... DD... Am I adding the, the path correctly, or the turn? The cache? So I'm gonna do move to... Right, this is here, turn. New state is turn. Am I passing this or am I passing this? Let's do um let's get rid of this. Let's say val new state equals state dot copy turn um this turn. Um Current room is location and current score equals current score. Okay, this is actually the updated score. So I probably should have said that, but oh well. Um Yeah, that's super weird, right? Because 13 to 12. Is there just something about This maybe. Um, huh. Okay. Yeah, I have I have bug here somewhere. Um, let's just check this a little bit. So A A. Um, let's just add the path to the state, I guess, right? So why not another thing? <laughs> uh, let's 
So we're just going to add val um, path. This is going to be a list of string. And this is just going to be like what room were you in? Yes. So this would be like a list of. Um, Actually, this doesn't really make sense. That's not quite right. It should be this. Right? It should start at zero because... Oop. What'd I break? Oh, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Um, open valve. So this is just... Um, State.copy. Yeah, this sucks, man. I'm like, I for sure am, I'm pretty sure on the, like, what I'm supposed to be doing, and I just uh, kind of screwed up here, so. Let's see if we can get it, though. The current score. Okay, so I'm doing the copies now. This is good. Um, and then what I can do here is... And on this move too, I can just say um, Ethereum is equals state dot path dot to mutable list, and then new rooms dot add. So I'm just gonna add. Uh, oop. This to the end, and then I'm gonna say uh, path equals that and we'll do that for here as well <laughs> wait is there no other place to go a a d d How do we get to like, uh... Am I not looping through paths somewhere? Like... I feel like I'm just going nuts, dude. New rooms dot... All right, we'll get it here. We'll get it in. Okay, so now I'm just trying to check, like, are we ever going into these other frickin' rooms? And all I see is, like, I mean, I guess there's, like, a... But, like, AA connects to BB, so why is it always DD, right? Um... I think the problem is that this part, we haven't actually done the move. So we're saying, hey, pretend you've gone here, but like we haven't done it yet. So what we actually should be doing is doing this here, right, on the new state. We're saying, hey, if we already know what's going to happen, then... Um, then you don't need to do it, right? And for open valve, I think it's the same thing. So once we have the new state, oop, don't don't screw that up too. So once we have the new state, we can say, hey, have we already seen this? And if we have, then um, and then this is wrong. As well, this should be new state. Okay, let's try that. Okay, this is 
taking a lot more time, so I feel better about it. So what I'm gonna do is just um, so there's probably actually much better ways to do this because I'm just kind of doing a random kind of walk here. Um, so if we know what the best score is, why am I still printing out all these, dude? One sec. It's this. Okay. Um, Let's go back to the question, because I probably should have like taken it a bit more seriously. So it's like, I think I've spent more than 30 minutes doing this. <laughs> uh, they all begin close. Let's see. Let's see. What's the most pressure you can release? So what if we... Um, Let's just see what numbers there are, actually. And since these don't really matter in here, I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna sort these on my own. Um, oop, like this. <laughs> Deep space. Nice. Okay, so that means I just ran out of space, which is not that surprising, because um, there's lots of different options here, right? So, what do I actually want to do? Um. Okay, I'm gonna try the same thing, but I'm actually just gonna say like, if new state dot um, turn number mod 10 equals zero, then we can do this. This probably still isn't gonna work. Um, so the problem is there's like just too many fricking Term too many permutations. I think what we need to do is figure out how far away each room is from the start. And then we probably need to be prioritizing, like, because this works a lot better in here, right? So, what we need to, like, we want to turn on as many as we can early on because those will get counted all the time. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. So instead of random walking on these, we could still kind of do a random walk, but we could just do it based on like which ones we want to turn on, maybe. So. Hmm. This one's actually a little bit tricky, I think. Um Yeah, I mean I reduce <laughs> I reduce the amount that I'm caching, but that probably just means that I'm in a run. Actually, here I always cache the. Um, I always cache the when we're opening the valve, so that's this is probably gonna run out anyway. Um, okay, but in the actual input, there's not that many that have. Like most of them don't have um, things. So let's try to do something with the input size. So one thing we can do is actually just ignore. Like, 
can we get rid of um can we get rid of spots that have um zero flow like so instead of pretending that each only has one like what if we actually had weighted edges right so edge um val source string val destination uh, string and then i'm gonna say val weight int So let's try to get rid of um, of rooms that have zero. And so one way we can do that is if we look at A, well, we have to keep A. Um, but like, we don't have to keep F, right? So like, if we look at FF, we know that it connects E and G. That's what this says, right? But this is really just like a long corridor. So we can actually replace E's edge and G's edge with um, with one that costs twice but goes through it. And so what we're trying to do is reduce the search space here so we're not doing like back and forths and just like wandering places. Like we want to go places that actually matter. So let's try that because this is still <laughs> this is still running. Um, and this will probably actually matter a lot for this one, where rate, like where they're most, like half of them have a rate of zero. So let's try that. Oh, the other thing we shouldn't be doing actually is we shouldn't be going We shouldn't backtrack, maybe? We shouldn't backtrack unless we have to. Right? Probably. Okay. Let's just try this first one. Um, so I'm going to do an init. I'm going to say, uh, forget this part. Actually, I'm going to keep that, but val rooms equals all pass dot values. Um, actually, I'll just do this. Um, rooms equals. Oop. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's fine. So, because like one thing about the rooms is these paths aren't set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to say um, val did rooms equals rooms dot uh, filter it dot rate equals zero uh, to list. Oh, zero l. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to prune these, right? So I'm just going to put this as var and then this can be var, and we'll actually just like assign this at the end of this whole thing, right? Okay. Uh, map string room. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to do rooms. Uh, actually, we're going to go through the dead rooms, right? 
And we're gonna do for each. And then this is just gonna be R. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the source and the destination. So we're gonna say uh, val source. It doesn't actually matter which one's which. Uh, rooms dot first. Um, so we're gonna say it dot name equals r dot as. So. Actually, this is kind of interesting because I here, like I do wonder if they always have two paths. Because like A might be unique because it goes to DD, which unlocks something, but II is zero. And what's BB? Uh, BB is good. So uh, there may be some there may be some case here, right? So we also don't uh, filter it dot name is not equal to, we'll just keep that one out of there. I'm sure there's gonna be some super elegant solutions to this tomorrow. <laughs> like I'm not having one right now. Um, so first it dot name equals, let's just try this, um, r dot Paths zero dot. Uh, that's fine. And then we'll call this one destination. That's the next one. Yeah. So, like I said, this works for all these. I wonder if it works for all of the ones in our input here. Those all, this one, this one, this one. It seems like it is true for all of these. Okay. So what we want to do is for source and destination, we're going to be source dot paths dot remove. Uh, we want to remove it dot, or sorry, r dot name. And we're gonna do the same thing for destination. And then here we're gonna add dot add destination.name. And we'll just reverse these. Okay. So this should have oop. Oh, actually we have to do one more thing. Because these paths aren't So this isn't uh, this isn't enough anymore. We're gonna call this edge. Uh, that's actually kind of annoying. I don't need the source. They're gonna the source is gonna be on the um, like it's the place that I'm at, right? <laughs> so uh, here we're gonna do. Um, we can just map these to edge is it one because they're all edges. Um, okay, and then here we're going to say dot remove. Um, Let's see, actually. Uh, oh, okay. These have... Okay, so... Let's see. We want to get where the paths... I already forgot what this is supposed to do. I'm trying to get the room uh, where this dead room is one of the destinations. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this works. So, let's see. 
now we want to do is we want to find uh, it dot equals r dot name uh, source edge equals okay and now we can do like source dot pass dot remove I did it this way because I actually want to have the element though there might be these all just kind of return uh, booleans like if something did get removed so I actually want to have the element so I'll do remove source edge and then here when we add it we're actually gonna do um, we're gonna put it back in and we're just gonna change the name of it so the name actually that doesn't work what we're gonna do is we're going to do edge and edge is destination.name and the weight is actually source edge dot weight plus one this is in case we end up um you know like uh create like chaining together more than one thing uh, source edge oh yeah i need to assert that i found this okay and then we'll just basically do the same thing the other way right so this is going to be this it's still destination this is destination edge which is kind of confusing but don't worry about it we need to return uh get rid of the right destination edge and then we're going to add in and this is going to be uh source.name and we'll do destination edge plus one even though it's going to be the same as it was before all right now we've gone through we have cleaned everything up we have not gotten rid of the rooms so i'm going to do like to mutable list and then here i'm going to say dead uh dead rooms dot actually we already have it in the for each so the last thing we'll do here is say rooms dot remove and we can just remove r i think okay and then i want rooms dot debug and all this is it's not all dead um we just need we're gonna need to refactor it a little bit rooms Oh, uh, this is actually all, wait, what's it called now? Maths. I'll say room math, yeah. Oh my gosh, these are getting uh, quite a bit more tricky. So here, I'm just gonna turn zero. and then so what do you want what do you want oh this is edge uh that's cool though this is actually good this is uh, edge and this is edge uh it means that i can't just do the move to off the bat but that's fine edge dot destination and then the cost here is actually going to be um whatever the cost of the edge is edge dot wait um and i may be fanning out wrong here right like if we look at these it i mean there may be a case where it's like worthwhile to like go past a room that has six to get to some to get to ones that have more right like it's not worth the turn to stop um but i'm not immediately sure so 
Um, edge dot. Or I guess this. Oop. What am I doing? Snap that. Um, this could also just be location dot name. And this. Okay. I actually still just need to frickin' make sure that... I don't think I ever cancelled this, did I? I must have at some point. Um... So... Don't even do this yet. I just literally need to see if what I'm doing here is correct. So... We have this one that has an edge of zero, but then we got rid of the other ones. So that seems better. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, in this, so when we turn on the valves, we can we can shortcut to the end here too, right? Because this probably only matters actually. Um, that's fine, actually. Let's just do this. Let's try this now. This probably isn't enough to get us over the line, but it's a bit better than it was before so instead of this we're gonna say uh, room map we're gonna add this current state move to okay all right let's see how this goes it's like we hate you okay this is just a like Stack overflow, yeah, okay. Move to open valve, move to open valve. Um. Do I have a case where there's like an edge weight of zero? No. Oh. So. If it's 30, that's cool. Um, I'm actually going to do this as like, if this is greater than 30, or greater than or equal to 30, but then I do have to do like a check here that says like, if, uh, let's just do this, if it's 30, else, if turn is greater than 30. Um, it doesn't really matter what we do, because like this, the, the, oh, it actually kind of does matter. Oh, this is... So this actually, this actually needs to be multiplied by the edge weight times edge dot wait um because we get that many turns right but we should only do it for the turns that are legal so um so what i'm gonna say is val uh, scored turns equals uh if turn greater than 30 um, and this is turn minus 30 so we're gonna figure out how much we over counted and then we're gonna say edge edge dot weight minus turn minus 30 minus this so figure out how much we overcounted, else um, edge dot weight 
be good. Actually, no. I mean, this seems like it understands that the else goes with that, but yeah, edge weight minus however much we ever counted. Um, we're gonna have to do the same thing, actually. Uh, oh, I guess the other way it doesn't really matter. So, okay, now this can be if turn is greater than or equal to 30, right? And on the other way, this can always be equals 30 because it's always a plus one. It's just one cost for opening a valve, so. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to do here, which probably doesn't matter for the, um, for the other one, right? So if it says uh, rate equals... Um, rate equals zero. And this is actually... So 45 out of 60. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Okay. Um... This is not converging really any faster. <laughs> So, let's see here, let's see here. So we were shortening paths here. What if we just do this more? Like what if we just know the path that you can go from like your current room to wherever you're gonna go, right? Because that means we don't have to like step through and take these actions. Like our goal is to go somewhere and open up a freaking valve, right? So what if we only have those as the options and they're all weighted, right? So instead of doing this, what do I wanna do? I want to, um, I want to, oh gosh, yeah, I'm just going to take a second here. So, I mean, just looking at this, like, I'm wondering if just like a greedy algorithm would work. So like you're in a room, you can either open the rate or go to a room and open that rate. Right? Um. Shoot. All right, let's see. So, I mean, this is still running, even on my like truncated little path. Um, So, I'm trying to think of like, we're in a room, and what we want to do is we need to go to another room and open the valve, and every other thing like doesn't really matter, right? So this is rooms with valves. 
And uh, instead of just moving around like kind of randomly here, what we want to do is we want to pick another room with a closed valve, right? So, how do I do this? <laughs> Um, I'm trying to figure out if I need to know the shortest path from every valve to every other valve, and I don't feel like we do. So I'm actually just going to simplify this. Like, all of this doesn't really matter. I should get rid of this whole thing. Um because it should just kind of be automatic, right? I'm going, so like what I want to do is I want to like, I have my paths. I'm going to filter this um, by like, dot. Like I don't want to go to places that, um, where state dot, oop, let's see. State dot open valves dot contains key paths. I don't know. This should just be it dot it dot destination. So I do so like we just are like I'm not gonna go to any place that has that's already um has an open valve. Right. I guess I can keep this part. Right. If the the test input is weird here because it's like um because sec current room paths and this one I need to actually use wait are you serious oh man this is also a bug because so I changed the open valve so I need to reassign it right Um, I hope this makes a copy. Just make sure it does. Okay. Um, here, I'm gonna do new state. Okay. Is it just that? I swear if this make, like if this is the difference, that's gonna be kind of frustrating. This should probably also check to see if it's like um, so what if we just sat here uh, until time runs out, right? Um, uh, and state current score. All right, let's see. So that's actually good because the scores are higher. You know what I'm gonna do actually? I mean, I know I'm returning the state, but like I could have just, I should just kept track of it at the top. Right, I have this count. Like, uh, it's fine. Bar, uh, best result yet. Hey, what's going on everyone? bunch more people join. Sweet. Um, we are honestly still kind of stuck on part one, but making some progress here. 
So we got state, and we're gonna say that is null. And we're actually gonna, this is fine. Um, actually, let's just make a, let's not have this be null. We'll just, uh, we'll assign it to this off the bat. None of this actually matters because we're gonna reassign it every time. All right, so. Return state equals this, and then return. And I'm just gonna be checking to see if return state dot score uh, is gooder than best really yet dot score uh, print line. Oop. New best. And do best result yet. Oop, actually this should be, that's fine. Uh, return state that. Okay, cool. And so let's just do that in the other one too, which is here. Uh, val return state. So what we're trying to do here is just, uh, I'm really just trying to figure out if this thing is actually like getting any closer um, to completing or not. So what's actually the score that we're like looking for? Uh, this actually said something. So like doing so would release during the remaining at a flow rate of 13, so total pressure. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's like part of this, right? But let's see what we find. I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna stand up for a second, so I've been kind of letting this go for a bit. So I will be right back. All right, so we're back. We uh, ran out of heap space again. I think this whole cache thing is a bad idea. Um, let's see here. 
So one thing I know we're not doing is like, it's like, what if we just sat here until time runs out, right? So I think we do have to consider um, that as an option, right? Uh, so, um, so val turns left equals, uh, oh yeah. So, 30 minus turn, and then say, if best state dot, uh, okay, so idle score is current score plus turns left. Times open valves uh, values dot sum, and they'll say if idle score is greater than best state dot current score, uh, best state equals, and we'll create another new state where it's just like new state copy. Um, and yeah, we'll just set this to 30. Excuse me, the current score is idle score. And I think everything else can stay the same. And then we also have to do this, this is for open valve. And we're gonna do it for this as well. think we have this so oh my okay and then I really am I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get rid of the caching I thought it would help but um, we are just the state space is like too big so let's see just yeah it's this Okay. So I'm gonna also do this, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I have to do this. This is actually just a disaster. Um, so let me just check this. I'm gonna take this out. Um, I'll say uh, private fun record best. And I'll say val best state, state. And this is like, uh, just a convenience method, right? So I don't have to do this frickin' check all over the place. So, don't need this. I'm just gonna say, actually this is gonna be a lowercase state, and I'm just gonna say, hey, if this is better than the best, and then return state, then, um, so then here I can just say return, uh, record best. I don't need any of this. Right? Okay, that's way... This is way easier. Um... Yes. Alright. Let's do it. Do it now.
Is that? Uh, no, it's not that. So. I do wonder. So what this is saying is like my paths. Um, wonder if we should. Uh, what if we order these paths? This is still going to be a long search space, but I'm just trying to like kind of. I don't know, dude. I'm trying to cheese this, honestly. <laughs> um. So, when we're setting this up, what if we, we have this rooms with values, what if we, um, what I want to do is, rooms values dot for each, and then I want to go into the paths, and I want to, Sort by, um, okay, this is fine. I can do this actually. And then I want to sort by, um, let's go get the room map. I want to sort by like, uh, uh, by, how much their flow is. So I'll prefer to visit rooms um, that have a higher flow first. Right, so this is like kind of a greedy search algorithm. Oh. Uh, yeah, right? So, let's see. So, it's like, consider this approach. I don't actually know if this is going to work. Oh, the most with, you, with this layout is this, and I beat that? That's bad. What'd I do? <laughs> oh crap, guys. That's... not the best, actually. That's very bad. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so let's see, is the issue that I start at turn, like, is this supposed to be one? It probably is, right? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, because it, I, because I actually do start in one, and then I say go to different places. Okay, that was my bad, that was my bad. So, um, 1713 minus 81, is that this? No. No, it is not. Okay, let's just try this again, see what we come up with. 1734, okay, so I think that's what we would have got before. Um, and the path here is A, B, but I think in this one they actually don't do that, right? They go to J first. So I think my sort is busted. Let's go check that. So A is 1, and it's A, D, J, and so I think this is exactly backwards. B. D, J. So is there a sort by? Where did I do that? Okay, this is this is close though, right? So sort by descending. 
Nice. Here we go. Greedy algorithm. Give me the answer, yeah? How long do we let this run, though, right? Yeah? Is that the answer? No. Sixteen fifty one. Okay. We'll let it just keep going. <sighs> so right now it's doing You know what? Uh Huh. So I I think it's doing a greedy algorithm, right? Because I go in here and I'm like, hey, if the rate's more than one and I haven't opened it, then we're gonna open open that valve, right? Um or we try to open the valve. All right, well, we're still searching. So how far off is this actually? I wonder if there's a backtrack or no. So it says open D, move to C, open B, move back to A. So it's A, did we already do that though? A, J, does J only have A to go to? No, right? It should have B. Did I screw this up? Maybe? Maybe I screwed up this processing. So J. Oh, uh, no. Okay, I screwed something up here. So A goes to uh, Okay, let's see the most efficient. Let's go back to this. So A goes to D and then D goes to C. So this is actually fine. A, A does go to J, and J only goes to this. So A goes to B. And B has a flow of 13. Just gotta keep going, guys. Like, kinda slow going, actually. I think that's because we, like, greedily went to... And now, how do we make this less greedy, all right? So, um, I think what we gotta do is we need to... Um... Shoot, we're like going to this dead end. All right, I'm I'm like losing some uh, non greedy search out. I think the other problem here though is we're not actually dead ending at all. Like, how do we prune edges? Right. Um, my intuition says that we like shouldn't be going through any room and not turning on the valve, but that could just be wrong. 
that could just be straight up like not a not true right um so what we probably want to be doing actually instead of doing this we probably want to sort by like um Hmm. Oh, I already do. I already fixed that. Oh no! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um. Okay. We're like sitting in room. And we're like, which one's the best, right? So, if one takes us two turns to turn on, and one takes us three turns to turn on, right? Then like. If the one that takes three turns to turn on is, um, if the one that takes us three turns to turn on is like that much better, right? Like if we can make up for it in the rest of it. Right, so maybe we need to actually be, um, maybe we actually do need a greedy algorithm, but it's like, look at all the options, like, sit in, instead of doing this traversal, this is stupid, I, th I think this has been very stupid, all right, what we gotta do is we gotta say, uh, where I'm sitting right now, um, look at all the options and figure out what each one is actually worth to us, right? So if one takes me three turns to turn on and one takes me two turns to turn on, but the one that takes three turns to turn on is going to make me more points over the long run, then I should do that one, I think, right? I mean, I guess this is the whole, that's the whole crux of it, right? <laughs> Um, because like, if I go for the one that takes me two, two turns to turn on, how do I know there's not like a better thing that can take me one turn to turn on? But it doesn't really matter because I can't turn anything on in one turn. Let's go check out this example just to see, um, so what does it do? It it's saying in this one, the best example is move to DD and turn that on. And DD is like, it's not the most, right? But you can get to it right away. Um, what other options were there? So there's DD II has zero and BB has 13. So it's kind of like, Okay. So what if instead of doing this, I don't know if this is gonna give me the best right off the bat, but um, it could. So we're gonna sort descending by, um, so the rate, divided by it dot but divided by the weight plus one so I think this whole thing is problematic because because I freaking weighted things right so let's try this the thing was taking way too long anyways okay so now uh, on a sec why does dd look good oh yeah dd does look good because it has good weight and whatever okay um What 
happen. Okay. Maybe this is now where my, like, don't go back to where you came from is problematic, right? Because I'm at DD. And, uh... I can go to CC, but that sucks. Right? Or I can look at it here. Let's see. I'm gonna CC. I can go to EE, -E, which is a flow rate at three. Both not great. What do they say the best move is? So I go to DD, then I go to CC. And then CC to A. Your idea of memorizing helped me solve things. I know you're still working on it. Let me know if you need hints. Yeah, man. I mean, memorizing is like seems good, but I was getting um, out of bounds. So I guess. Like, at what point do you memoize, right? Um, so let's, I mean, I'll try that. I think that's pretty, like, it usually works. Um, you know what, actually? Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm I'm totally happy to take uh, hints. It's already pretty late, so. <laughs> um, but what I was just thinking about is, I'm pretty freaking sure that Kotlin actually has like super low memory. So, do you just memoize on all the calls, or? Um, I'd be curious to know. Let's see. Let's actually just go in here, and if I do like, uh, the I memorize the location I'm in and the values of open. Um. Okay. Oh, I see. So that's like memorizing your. That's memoizing your traverse, like the path that you've traversed. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think that's the same thing that I'm doing here. Let me try this again. Um, because I was memoizing state, so this is turn. Oh, this is good for, oh, okay. Oh, damn it, dude. Okay, thanks, dude. That's actually super helpful. So the problem is that when you memoize these, um, yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. So you're just saying memoize these things, and then the, the, this is like, I guess you memoized them to the, uh, let's just say this. Yeah. Okay. That's, this is helpful, I think. Um, kind of a pain though, because I have already screwed this up. 
Yeah, so the issue that I was having is the data class when I keep the state in it, like it's, I'm not getting any cache hits. Yeah. You don't want to traverse the graph um, given you because you have to backtrack often, you want to work on some graph where there is no need to backtrack. Yeah. Uh, okay, I mean, so what I, I kind of only said that I wouldn't go back to, to nodes that I've already been to, but I wonder if I need to connect more of these nodes. So like if I knew the path, if I knew the distance to all the other uh, rooms. So let me get this working first and then that totally makes sense though, right? Um, okay. So, and I'm just gonna drop this, and then I'm gonna say, uh, I actually don't need that part. And then, so open valves, and this is fine. Okay. Yeah, thanks, man. That's super helpful. I've that's I'm definitely on that path. I just didn't get there. Um, so it's uh, like I said super helpful to to get these uh, hints right now um okay so i can't actually copy into the current score anymore this is kind of a pain uh actually what i'm gonna do is i'm just not gonna make this a data class i'm gonna do this um what do i want to do Oh, uh, this is a pain in the ass. Okay, the whole point of me memoizing against state was to get the total score, but I'm just gonna freaking abandon that. So, all right, cache state long. Um, right, and then Um, and then this just becomes max, and then this is long, and this is long, everything just becomes long, dude, turn, oh man, okay. I am just like abandoning lots of stuff here. So, oh, this is actually a pain though. Never mind, never mind. Let's, I'm gonna do what I was doing. Just, so I'll keep the score as like an auxiliary thing. So this means it won't get in the, uh, in the hash. Oop, data. I really hope the second part of this is easier because this is like really terrible. Um, val return val equals. Um, I don't need any of this except I'm going to do return val uh, dot score equals and score. Um, okay. That's good. Um, and then when I do copy and all of that, that all it also doesn't carry over the um, the current score. So I'll definitely have to uh, try to find some some more efficient way to code this later. Uh, and then this is gonna be best state dot current score idle yeah let's copy code uh, oop. new state dot that okay and then I also took that from here right uh, val new state, and then new 
steady uh, dot equals say score okay um, and then okay and then do this and best state uh, best score equals idle score okay yeah I mean I totally hear what you're saying where it's like there's no need to backtrack so so that's where I was thinking of doing uh oh I didn't actually do any of the memoizing ha <laughs> All right, so now that I have all this, now I can do val cache equals mutable map of state to long. Why do you not like this? Oh, do I already have this defined? I do. Um. That's actually fine. This doesn't matter. State to state is fine. Because now um, I'm actually getting these. Uh, because I took the thing out of the cache key, so. All right, so this is where we would do the return. We're not going to do that. We're going to do it after we've modified the state, which is here. It's like moving to the new location. So turn in location and the current score. And then I'm going to say if cache uh, dot contains key new state uh, print line cache. Uh, and then we'll say return cache new state. Okay. And then otherwise, we're going to down here say best state that. Okay. And again, I still have this open valve. I said a long time ago that I should freaking abandon this, and I still haven't, so that's probably. I gotta prune the, prune the graph um, like was recommended, and then we'll do that. So the state, so as soon as we get our new state and then this goes through extra stuff. Oh my God, this code is like a nightmare. You know the worst that the code looks ash hit. Mm. That's wrong, is it? Yeah, oh <laughs> shit, <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh no, okay, that was super fast though. Um, it didn't open all the valves, did it? Okay, so uh, when you talk about not backtracking, I think we want to know then like we want every we want every tree to be able to go to every other tree, right? So I prune this a little bit, but I think we want to prune it more. Um maybe I'm just freaking wrong here, but I don't know, this is actually super fast with the caches. Why did this give me the wrong answer, actually? So, if I don't do any of this, do I still get the right, do I get a right answer? I know I said we should prune the, the thing, but no, I'm still getting the wrong answer. Um, okay, is this like an off by one turn thing then? I started. I think I had this question before, but I'm just gonna. No, it's not. 
crap. That's bad. So this thinks I should open it in like a different order and I'm getting to you. Right. So I thought it might be an off by one, but okay. Let's just simplify this whole thing actually, since it's it return it goes super fast uh, without it, and I think I get the same. Yeah, but this helps like simplify all of this stuff. So like, let me get rid of all this. Let me just do this, and then this is if it's now it'll never be greater than thirty. So, <laughs> I don't, I don't think it is an off by one, right? This is always one now. Edge dot wait. Do this really thinks that that's the answer, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe it is. No, you're right. Maybe it is, because I'm off by exactly 20, which is exactly the amount of, of one day of this. So you're totally right. Uh, so what am I doing? Damn it. OK, this is getting close. Thank you for all these hints. <laughs> Uh, no valves are open. You move to DD. No valves are open. Okay, but on day two. Okay, so like. This is. Um. Uh, this is going to be way too much frickin' printing, but score, uh, why the hell not, right? And we need to know, we'll do state. So it should be the first one that we're in. Right? Wait, what? Oh, no, no, it's here. What the heck, dude? It's like day three. 20, right? So that's how this is. Okay. I think I need to just simplify this. I don't know why I have like two different different ways to do this. So what we gotta do is we gotta just do this in here. Um so uh So right here, let's see. So here I'm like, hey, if it's greater than one or greater than zero, right? And this check kind of is important, um, but we can just treat this as a similar thing, right? So. Um, If I just do this check here, right? So, so if it's greater than one, then like let's just simulate this turn. So turn. Uh, so we would say, hey, we're not moving. We're gonna open the valve, right? So all this. Um, damn it. 
Damn, dude, this actually kind of makes it a little bit harder. Yeah, yeah, I have, I have that here. Um, but this is kind of a pain because, like, you. I have to do it and undo it. So like doing this in a doing this probably kind of makes sense actually. Um shoot. Okay. Does does this go down the right kind of way though? Or like what if I do um what if I just search for like this thing, right? So I'm like valves bb and dd are open. So it's like open valves equals bb equals. I don't know, but it opens dd first, right? So it'd be uh, dd equals 20. And then we need to go to BB. What do I even like? Um, okay, this is good. So let's see. There's 23 of these that are like kind of on the right path. Do any of these have like they don't have the totals though in this thing. That's kind of annoying, right? So, uh, I guess whatever, right? The score turn. Um, but let's see. Oh, and this is cash hit, right? So maybe I should. All right, let's just keep going. Let's just keep checking this BB and BD. Um, oh, but this says JJ open, and we don't ever do that. Okay, because what do we have to do to get from BB? So, I don't know that I'd ever do that, right? Um, I think the problem is that I don't know. So I'm, I think I'm going to go with what you said, right? So it's like the idea that you don't traverse the graph because you have to backtrack off and you have to work off some graph. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is... Um, uh, I think I'm going to traverse the... Uh, the graph, like I think I need to process it more, right? Because kind of what you're saying, like we have all these options. I was trying to take these out and I think that that's kind of helpful. Um, I did push it to get GitHub, so uh, you should be able to find the, the links in the description um, and just A16. Uh, let's, let's just go and like, uh, add paths. So right now I only have direct paths. So what if I like create indirect paths, right? So, um, from every room to every other room, right? 
also, um, how do we do this? I mean, it's like minimum spanning tree, right? <laughs> Am I supposed to go copy my freaking Dijkstra's stuff to here? Like, I don't know. Um, I mean, hell, maybe I am. I don't know. Um, so, let's see. Let's. No. Are you serious, dude? I mean, that's kind of what you're saying, right? Is like, we have. Um, Sorry, I'm just thinking through this. That would give you... Uh, really? This seems like a very complicated solution for like a day 16 puzzle. <laughs> like, um, so what we're talking about is like going through and doing... Uh, Finding the shortest distance from every node to every other node. But they are inverse, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then, and then from there, it's like pretty trivial to do the uh, traversal. <sighs> Dang it, dude. Okay, this just seems like so much more work than I had thought it should be. So I can do one graph traversal to get the the shortest path. Oh man. Okay, my brain is like super fried right now. So, um, create spanning tree for this room. And to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have um, val map shortest path uh, equals map. Uh, and this is going to be, oop, Mutable map of room to length. Uh, this can be int, right? And then we're going to start with the current room and we're just going to walk around until we find all the rooms, right? Uh, so let's first actually take uh, it.paths. And we're going to for each uh, shortest path dot add dot add, uh, dot put is actually this can just be a string. Okay. Uh, it dot destination equals it dot. Wait, we know that works, that's fine. These are actually kind of stupid. We can just, uh, I'm gonna comment this out, but none of that matters anyways. So, <laughs> um, okay. So then we're gonna start with the, uh, we're gonna val uh, stack equals mutable list. And we've already kind of, we've done this before, but I'm just gonna do it again. Um, and then we have our room map. I'm gonna take this out. Because this just lets us look stuff up. All right. And so then we're gonna push this on a stack. Stack equals uh, 
we are going to do this just like we did it before. So stack is actually pair int where this is going to be the edges, right? So we're going to create all our edges here. And we're going to stack dot add uh, it dot name and zero because we are in ourselves, right? So hope oh, uh, two. All right, and then while stack uh, dot is not empty, grab uh, increment check add neighbors. Okay, and then at the end of this, we're going to do um, it dot paths and um, I'm just gonna clear all the paths, and then I'm gonna say it dot paths dot add all. Actually, let's do shortest path dot for each. Oop. Damn it! Uh, we should call one of these something different. So I'm gonna go back and call this. Do our fancy renaming trick, which isn't really that fancy, but it already has a name, and we can just refactor it. All right, so at the end of this, we're gonna do uh, it. Sorry, r dot paths dot add, and we are going to add. Uh, this is an entry. Let me just do that. Edge it dot key it dot value. All right, fine. So val next equals stack dot. Uh, we're gonna pull off the top. Uh, oop. I don't think this. I think I can choose a stack here. Um, because I'm going to shortcut when we've gone and we've kind of looped back, right? So maybe this should be a priority queue. Um, I'll just do that in a sec. Thank you. Uh, it might not matter. Last time, since everything was one away, then uh, breath first was fine, right? So, um, and this is mutable list dot move first. Okay. Um, val dot distance is. Yeah, it might be. I can just. I don't want to get bogged down in that right now, but I'll come back to it. Um, distance is second uh, plus one. Right. So that's. PQ always does work, that is for damn sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, shortest, so we'll say, here we just want to say if shortest path of next. Um, sorry, what is this? If shortest path dot. Uh, Get or default. Sorry, what am I checking here? Uh, I want to see if I've been to this spot before. So if shortest path dot contains key next dot first and shortest path dot. I, I'm sure I can do a question mark e type things here, right? But uh, next dot first, if the distance there is less than the proposed distance, says so less than, uh, actually if it's less than or equal the distance, then we don't care because we've seen this before. So we can just do continue. Okay, and then here, um, otherwise we need to add it in, actually, shortest path dot, um, next dot first equals next dot second. Um, and we should probably exclude 
Uh, I'll say if next is not equal to it. We don't want to put ourselves in here, right? Uh, or I can just, I'll just fil filter myself out at the end, right? So dot filter it dot uh, key is not equal to r dot name. Um, okay. So is this, what is your, uh, oh, it doesn't like that, it, that I'm, that's so weird. I like checked if the key is in there and it says yes. And then when I pull it out, it's like, could be null. I guess maps could have null, but, uh, add it in. And then here, what we're going to do is we are going to say, um, uh, is this a room or is this, this is a pair, right? So I'm actually going to do val next room equals room map dot next stop first. Oop. All right, and then here I'm going to stack dot add all. Uh, actually, I'll just do oop next room dot paths dot reach stack dot add. Um, so all the weights are one, so that we're just not using that here, actually. Um, what we are going to use is to next dot. So this is the distance to that. Right, and then clear. OK, we said we should use a priority queue here. We should. I don't know uh, Kotlin enough, honestly, to like get this right every time. So I think this is like compare by and then this is like gotta lambdafy this like this and then we'll say it dot second nailed it <laughs> uh thanks pull okay yeah. this and now this doesn't matter because we're gonna be able to go through everything um so right now i'm just gonna check to see if this That's curious. It's also wrong, but that's not what I wanted to see. Oh my gosh. So much caching. Yeah, that's actually, that sucks. The reason that I um, did stuff there earlier was this didn't work. I mean, it did maybe I don't know. Hold on a sec. Okay, just get rid of this. Get rid of all of this actually. I just need to check. <laughs> this is like so much work just to do this. Okay, this is wrong. This doesn't have all the stuff that it should, right? No, there's only like three elements here. So what did I screw up here? Um, uh, yeah. Did I just screw up this? The seams find me. Add stack dot add. Oh my god. 
bad. This is annoying. Uh, Oop. Line 62, this one. Uh, is it? Because we have stack. So we start with saying, hey, this is... Uh, Uh, that's what this is doing though, no? This is saying... Like I'm adding the, the distance in the next room, right? Obviously I'm printing out way too freaking much here. This, this is like terrible freaking... Um, so even instead of doing this, I just need to run this with like one, one thing, right? Am I even in it? I am. Okay. So I'm going to do like, uh, room map and I'm just going to pull out AA and then I'm going to say, can I just do let? Oh yeah. Hacks. Uh, R equals. Oop. Okay, like that. Yeah, I thought this was fine because I'm doing. Okay, obviously it doesn't work, right? So, what? So you're saying this is no good. Or no, you said this. Sorry. So, I'm just gonna... Neighbors... Nextream.pass, right? And then I think this is what you're saying though, right? But it doesn't even look like it's getting like what am I Distance. Why does this say that it's already seen this? Like, already seen DD? Where? Oh. Wait, this is... This is stupid. I see. This is that was stupid. I I like pre-populated this frickin' map. What am I doing? Literally what am I doing? There we go. There we go. Okay. Um Okay. Okay, so this is kind of what you were saying before, right? This is what I'm going for. Wait, two, two. There are wait, three, seven. This looks good, I think. 
so... Oh, come on. Work already. Work, 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 dude. <laughs> what the actual hell? Um... Okay. Sorry, this is just killing me, dude. I don't know. Because I probably just have, like, so many frickin' bugs at this point, honestly. Wait, why did this even get... Oh, okay. That's fine. So... Get rid of this. Get rid of this. I just want to, like, even val verify that, like, what I'm... What I have right here is right... Too. Okay. So it's like, uh, okay, so for, uh, for A, we have DD is one away, B is one away, I is one away, and then E is two away through D. That's good. J is two away through I. That's good. Okay. This seems good. Like, I feel, like, happy with this now. Okay. Now we can go back to what we had before. Okay. So this is good. Oh, the reason that things don't work now. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. And so this is a little bit jank because we, um, we, um, like the, the search code's stupid because it, yeah. Um, okay, but now that we have all these smart moves, we're not going anywhere stupid, right? So what we can actually do is, um, we can count the number of turns that it takes us to go somewhere, and we do all that. Then we don't need to do this, like, hey, maybe we should turn it on, right? Because... We are not, we are now not going to go to anywhere where, uh, where we can't turn it on, right? So we move somewhere, we look to see if we've like kind of overspent our turns, right? That's what all this does, it's like figure out how many turns to score. So if, if the new turns, oh, this should actually be edge dot wait. Let's just run this. Run this and see if we get the right answer. No, I didn't get the right answer. Uh, that's bad. Hold on a sec. Okay, still not getting the right answer, but... That's probably okay. Uh, I mean, it's not okay, but... Oh, because we were gonna take this out, huh? Okay, our score is way too big now. So, we need to do edge dot... Wait, we need to actually be counting edges for what they cost. This is getting closer. Um, the other thing I need to do here, so now when we move somewhere, we're always going to turn on the thing. We can, we can, like, we're only going to places that, that, um, need to turn on a hose or whatever it is, 
Right, so current score is if, if the turns are greater than 30, then we figure out how many turns over 30 we went and we subtract that. I'm just gonna say to do, this is like risky, this could be wrong. You get, you get problems because you're taking multiple minutes on one move, but counting the score every minute. Uh, I think that's what I'm trying to do here. But it's possible this is wrong. Um, I should just go to this real quick. Okay, so really. Yeah, sorry, man. Let me let me just update all this real quick, and then it will make it clear. Um, Okay, because this is all like, there's way too much freaking going on here. So. What I really want to do is I really want to get rid of this method. Right? Because what we're going to do is we're gonna, we have this graph now where we can say, hey, uh, like, we can make a move. And when we go there, we are definitely going to turn on the hose or whatever it is. Right, and so that's this code right here. Right, uh, oh no, oh no, it's this. So it takes one turn, we open the valve, and then we like add some score, right? So what I wanted to do is I wanted to do that here. Right? So I know that you said um, if rate is zero, and now that we have the prune graph, we can actually just get rid of these, um, which I think I did. If I haven't gotten rid of these rooms, we'll just get rid of them as neighbors, because like we're never going to want to go directly to them. Um, so what I think we can do, though, I'll just leave this check in. It's like if um, if we can turn it on, like we came here to turn this uh, thing on. So actually, instead of assuming that, and let me know if I'm like totally wrong here. But like I think we want to go up here, and we have these like shortest paths, but. Um, so I'm going to filter out, I filtered out ourselves, but I think I also want to filter out, um, I don't want edges that go to, re uh, to places that don't have something to turn on. Like that doesn't help me at all. Right. So I'm going to take those out of the, um, out of the list. Um, so that we can do uh, so room map it dot key um, dot rate is greater than zero. So this is only going to keep ones that have a rate greater than zero. Okay, cool. So 
yeah, so we did that. I just want to verify that that's what I did. Return to zero. All right. And so, like, we still have edges that go to a bunch of places, and we do not have the edges that go to, like, uh, there's one that goes to, like, II. We don't need that anymore, right? It's, like, not in here, dude. So, okay, this seems good. Oh my gosh, this is taking forever, but I would really want to get it tonight. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I'm just going to put a comment on this. Move to uh, traverse the edge, then uh, traversing takes uh, n minutes, score the ones uh, before 30, right? So that's what this thing is supposed to do. Then um turn on the pose thing and score that then move more i think that's what i want to do here mostly because it's oops. mostly because that means that it's all in one method like we can just so right now, I just have too much. Okay, so this is like move and score the valid minutes. Okay, and then that gets us to here, right? So uh, I think this is the part where you were kind of saying that maybe I had it wrong, but uh, like what I'm trying to do here is, you know, if moving to this edge would take me five minutes, but there's only like two minutes left. Then I want to like score the two minutes that I have. Um, so actually this is stupid. I don't know why I'm doing it this way. I mean, this, it could be this, but this is also like 30 minus um, state. I should call this previous state. Um, and then I'll say like added score equals, and this is the added, this is the extra score. Right, and this is like new score. So now, if this is the case, I'm just gonna return that. Return the new score. Okay. Else, by calculating the total amount the valve will add when I turn it on. Uh. Did it when you calculate the total? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Um, that that makes sense. I could do that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I think that's actually what they said too. So don't do this then. There's don't do any of this. So we've moved. Okay. That probably makes this way easier, actually. Yeah. So, okay. So, okay, but if we turn it on, 
I think this actually said this exactly. It's like it would do it. So if you turn it on, um, on three or on two, then it's gonna add. If this is like on twenty nine, then it would just add it once, right? Okay. So. So you're saying when I turn it on here, um, uh, it's like added score is, um, it's the location dot rate times 30 minus whatever turn we are on. Yeah, I think that's where I got confused, but doing it this way, like, oops, sorry, I just totally whacked the mic. Um, that means that I don't need to do all this crap, right? Like, I don't need this then. Um, so that, this is, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Um, okay. So I'm going to add this score, but then... I also need to do a turn uh, val now turn after on equals turn this one. Um, okay, this is a little bit, this is like, oh my gosh. Damn, dude, I'm so freaking slow. I'm not feeling great about this one. Okay. Okay, so I've turned it on, updated thing. I need my new state. So val new state equals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um. Val new state equals state dot oops, state dot copy and this is gonna be turn uh, turn um, turn after on. Oh Oh, so we can just do that here, right? Because um, because since we're calculating the score the, the new way, if we move but we don't have a turn to turn it on, then it doesn't matter, right? Like. Or if you do it on the t 29th. Uh, okay. Okay. This feels a little bit weird, but I'll make I'll, I'll figure it out. I mean, if it's not, if it's not what I think it should be, I'll figure it out, right? Okay. Ah, uh, geez. Okay. What else do I need here? Um. Current room equals location. And we have to set that one to on too, right? Okay, so this, and then this thing. So, um, um, 
this is the this is a dumb way to keep track of this i think it is a dumb way to keep track of this we don't need this this is this is stupid on sec because we're already keeping track of the score so we don't need the rate in this at all we're just gonna change this to a uh, set It's fine. Uh, the return is the best state that I have found. So that bubbles up. I mean, I had this other one that's like record best. I don't know. I mean, it's essentially the, the best score though that you found on this uh, path downward. It's the return. Um, Uh, to mutable set, open valve set add, uh, location dot name. Then, okay. This is fine. What does any of this even do? I don't need this because that was just should I turn on the thing? Okay, consider all the paths. Um, uh, and then just make sure that wherever I'm going is not already on. Try those. This I don't need any more right because I've already I already had the score right so here oh, this is the added score so the new state I don't know why I say best score this is just score dude um is the previous state dot score plus the new thing not sure how how to memoize the results if you're accumulating score instead of returning the score. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of weird. I um, it's jank. It's jank. This should work, but let's just give it a try real quick. Um, so each. getting random fucking scores okay um yeah i mean do you think this should be like long like that's fine it doesn't actually um like this doesn't really matter that much actually i'm not sure how to memoize the results if you're accumulating the score instead of returning yeah so each time though my, uh, oh, I see. Wait, hold on a sec. Let's just, let's just return the result. I mean, I think that's what you're kind of getting at, right? Is like, it's simpler. Okay, yeah, that's that's just easier. So I'll do that. Thank you for the recommendation. Um, so we'll just do this. I don't know, my hope was that I could have used the state to have like, I don't know, more traversal information, but I think it's totally just screwing me. So, um, or it's confusing me anyways. So let's do that, and then move to, and this is like, I'll just set it here, turn the max result we've found. Um, 
Yeah, and then this is a bit easier because we can just do um, so. this dot so these are the paths that we haven't that we can go that we haven't done yet and then we can just do map uh move to hit new state max okay right so consider places that we haven't been uh this should be new state. Doesn't really matter because the only difference between previous and new is this one, and we're not going to go back. Um, okay, this is stupid. Don't need that. And so then this is going to be um, max of new state score or test pass and this is just going to return x score oh my gosh Uh, dot max or null. Uh, actually, I'll just do dot max or wait, what? Uh, isn't there a default like? Fine. <laughs> um, yeah, that's interesting. Um, if best path equals null, best path equals zero. Okay. What the hell? Okay, well, code's way simpler now. Uh, I'll push it again, like, in progress number two, in case you want to go check it out, but uh, it is not giving me the right answer. So 17 or 1633 is, uh, I don't know. It's like, <laughs> it's not even off by one. Like, what am I doing here? I mean, this can just return state dot or right like we're not accumulating any extra score here I don't think this matters but <sighs> what am I missing dude Uh, um. Okay, well, I'm satisfied that it's hitting the cache. Um. Uh, I don't think this is going to matter. I just forget. Like, 
get get rid of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad that we ran into this, or that that I came to the same uh, conclusion. Let's get rid of that. Move to score. So dump this score. Um. Okay. And then here, I'm just gonna say. Is this right? So if I'm, yep. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, uh, so this then goes in here as score plus added score. I mean, I think this code's jank, but like, I'm not totally sure that that's really the issue. I mean, maybe it is, but. So, and then this is like, uh, actually this should be score plus added score, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm still getting the same answer, so there's something else. I kind of think it's this. But maybe not, so. Um, break here. So, let's see. Can I make this bigger? No, sorry, I can't make this bigger. Um, so this is rate 20, turn three. And so we're gonna count it, right? It's like 28 times. I don't think that's what I got, right? A total eventual pressure of, I don't know. That's a different thing, but I mean, it's, yeah, this is 28 times 20, right? is 560, and that's not what I have here. So this is an off by one. Unless my math isn't right, or like, what the shit, dude? Okay, now do I have an off by one, actually? No. Yeah, that's wrong. Okay, but how did I end up with this? So I move on turn whatever. Yeah, yeah, this is wrong. This needs to be added later. So this actually needs to be added. Because I move and then I turn it and then I'm gonna score this every time afterward. So, I mean, it's possible I'm wrong here, but I don't think so. Turn. Do I do it before I create this state? Um, I think I'll do 
good here. Nope, that's not where I want to do it. Crap, dude. Okay, so maybe you're right, but this doesn't make any sense to me. So, because when I did it here, it's like, I start on day one. Like, I start here. Start on minute one. And then I move. Oh, no. You move on day... Oh, so wait, 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 wait. I think it's actually this. If I start... No. Okay, I need to get this right. So I move... I think this should be zero. Okay, so if I put this, then... Okay, this isn't for use anymore. Um, yeah, so if I start at this, then I move to... Okay, let's say it is that. And then what if I do, what if I go back to this? It's not totally sure this is right. I think it's, I think I'm counting an extra day somewhere here. Right. Cause this gives me the, the right um, value here. Um, So this puts me in, let's see. And this seems more right. But I'm still getting the wrong answer, right? This is, this is so frustrating, dude. Thank you for sticking with me for so long, by the way. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So.
I mean, it's one different, actually. Wait, that's actually... That's actually really fast now. Oh, now it's more, though. That's right, right? Score dot added score. Um, yeah, this is frustrating. Oh, this is off by no. No, it's not. I was like, that almost looks off by one. I mean, it's 81. But I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm 79 too high. Like, still a little sus on this thing. That is wrong. Let me get lower. Am I counting an extra? And just like straight up kind of guessing around. That doesn't matter because oh, because of this, right? Okay, so uh, score. For Oop. um one turn. Oh, let's actually for I mean, we know what the right answer is, right? So this should be just like checkable. Um, do you want to say turn two? Added score five. 60. Okay. And then this one. Like, that's good, right? Because here we have 20. We can just check that it says, like, valve dd is open. This is kind of annoying. Yeah, this is like impossible to check actually. <laughs> like what the heck? good okay so like the thing that I did is fine right it's like uh, DD for 20 on turn 2 gives me 560 that's 20 times 20 so that's sweet and then the next one is 
this. It's like BB on five. Uh, score. Just be thirteen on the turn. Okay. That. So thirteen times thirty minus five is okay. Seems fine. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Um, unless I straight up him, I mean, you know what? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't freaking know, dude. I actually haven't even tried submitting an answer. Um, like maybe, I don't know. Maybe I literally just, I don't know. I have no idea how this would produce something, but like I've screwed stuff up before. This should work. This seems like it works. Oh God, Never mind. this doesn't work. So we do need to memoize for the real input is what we're saying. <laughs> Yeah, I whatever the answer is here is going to end up being like very stupid. OK, but there's something funky actually going on, so maybe the cache will actually help me figure it out. Because like I get 1730 when I am not caching. These are all val set. I get 1730 when I'm not caching, and I get, um, a lower value when I am caching. So let's see. New state. What if I just don't do this? This shouldn't matter. But, um... And this is going to be... New location. You. Hmm. And so like, I don't know, this kind of makes sense to me because this cache is just saying if we have this in there. Is it possible to go somewhere and have the same 
I think you said to do this. So I guess I can try that. I don't know, man. This is getting a little bit... Um... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Um... I don't even actually like... I don't know, like it could be just... Um... I mean, I don't think there's anything weird going on here. Like, maybe there is, but... I'm starting to think that it actually has to do with, like, uh, I don't know. I mean, like I said, like, we should be able to get rid of memoization. And then, like, this should work. So does that mean that, like, my shortest path doesn't work? I mean, we, like, spot-checked it, and it seemed fine. Uh, HH goes to GG. Uh... Yeah, I mean, so you want me to just return the, um, I mean, I can try stuff. I've, I've messed around with the code a lot, and nothing has changed at that much. So, um... So you're saying, like, you just want to bubble it up, right? So you're like, we don't actually need this. We'll just say, um, this is like, whatever we get. Okay, so this is what you're saying earlier. We return zero here best path uh, or zero and then we're just going to return like this is uh, score equals uh, plus whatever's added in this time and then It's fine. Yeah, I mean, same sort of thing. I don't know. It makes me think that there's something wrong up here, but... Um, 
what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna like return this. Uh, long string int, and then I'm gonna return like uh, triple. Zero new location dot name and the turn and then say max by the first right and then if there's nothing there then I'll just say this is like we got nothing from this turn. I mean, this doesn't matter. This part doesn't matter. But, uh. Because I'm not gonna keep. Oop. I'm just trying to, like, figure out where this is freaking going wrong, dude. Okay, and then the score is best path dot first. And oh, this doesn't really work though. Damn, dude, I just wanted to freaking bubble up like I wanted to bubble up the result. This will do. Maybe this will help, maybe this won't, so. List of long. I'm just trying to like get some more debug information from like the path that it thinks is the best. Right? So. Yeah, dude, that's what I freaking, that's what I freaking said, but uh, Okay, give me a sec and then I'll I'll address that. Um, but I like think you're probably right. Dot same thing which part is wrong here or like I'm trying to figure out which like I don't know I looked at the edges it seemed fine to me um, yeah. I'm gonna filter it dot uh, rate it's not equal to zero Okay, that's fine. Name uh, equals. 
is a yeah I mean that's where I'm like I think it's the shortest path as well but I don't really know but um, I'm just gonna honestly the other thing that I was thinking about is like did I just fuck this up that I oh, I'm not supposed to Sorry about that. Uh, did I mess this up by like... What the heck? <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I think you're 100% right, because I've just, like, moved these, and this is... <laughs> uh, okay, but... Okay. You're a hundred percent right, but why not? So it should get, um... Yeah, yeah. That's... this is annoying. E C C. I mean, it should get an edge to all these, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's not that. Um. So. Val R equals room map. A A. I can get rid of all this. So, oh, I don't have GG because I filtered out. Right? Because I filter out the ones that don't have the rate. If I do this. Like it is here. Um, I mean, I can just leave them in, I guess. Or is there something else that, that you're talking about? I mean, it's still just like wildly off. Like, something's messed because I literally copy this and I put it here and, like, I'm getting a different, <laughs> getting a different answer, dude. Right? Like, I was never getting this answer before. So... 
So like if I Um, like I was just like sorting these, right? This is like this. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just changed stuff and I got a different answer here. So it's obviously, <laughs> it's obviously wrong. Uh, I don't, I mean, it's obvious that it's giving me the wrong answer. So, um, God damn it, dude. This is already a problem that I freaking solved. So what the hell? Oh, 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 oh my god, I'm so, I'm so frickin' is freaking modifying the code live dude or the the stuff live i'm like i'm changing it right here but then i'm using that so this filter actually is screwing me i think you're 100 percent right dude okay okay how do I do this then? Wow, 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 wow. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, I can't believe I just did that. Okay. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. I, the issue is that I've been working with mutable types this whole time. And so when I was updating them, I was, um, yeah, I was just, uh, hold on a sec. Oh my gosh, I'm actually like really upset now. So this is like modifying the stuff, but then I need those in future iterations to go through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, this is stupid. This is stupid. I'll just, I'll fix it. Um, like this. Yeah, I cannot believe this. Uh, let's do this. Okay. Okay. And then this code will just use I'm just gonna, um, 
what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to, after all of these, then I'm going to go through and just, uh, I'm going to clear them um, just to, like, not screw this up. No, no, no. Heck. Uh, and okay, now I'm getting no such element somewhere. Oh. Okay. Oh. Because I'm doing this still. Okay. Does this skip me all the stuff? Probably. I need to do this for all of them. Um, so, I have this. Yeah, so I'm gonna go for each one. This is really jank. I'm I can I thank you so frickin' much, dude. Oh my gosh. I I cannot believe this. Okay. Let me That's this is Thanks for basically walking me through this entire solution. I mean, I noticed some stuff, but like, this is all just my own damn fault. I mean, I guess I've been working on this for almost four hours, so this is like stupid slow, but um, okay. Okay. Now we get the right thing. Where's that debug? Okay. Okay. So I'm assuming now that I do have to cache. No. Thanks, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I cannot believe it. Okay, what is this? Uh, you worry that even with an optimal approach, pressure release won't be enough. What if you got one of the elephants to help you? It would take four minutes to teach an elephant how to open the right valves in the right order, leaving us only 26 minutes to actually execute the plan. But having two of you working together be better, even if it means having less time. Assuming you teach an elephant before opening any valves yourself, giving both of you the same full 26 minutes as in the above, you could do different stuff. Uh, okay. So you move somewhere, elephant moves somewhere, you move somewhere else. Okay. So this seems like you need to memoize stuff, right? So. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this tonight, man. Um. Basically, you need to do this again, but uh, but you need to move two pieces, and that's where the memoizing will help, right? So like this ends up being uh, this ends up being good, and this.
No. But now I like return bogus stuff, so just uh wrong. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I I got it. Um dot max or no. Alright, I'm gonna have to call it for tonight. I gotta go actually get up in the morning, but thank you so freaking much for actually um saving me here. I <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'd still be stuck. Uh or I'm a hundred percent certain that I'd still be stuck. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um yeah, I'll do the other one tomorrow. It's just memoizing um, and moving two pieces at once. So, piece of cake. Um, four hour stream to get <laughs> half of the problem done. That is kind of a downer, but uh, you know, it happens sometimes. So, um, yeah, we'll just get this into like a nice state and then. Okay. Well, yeah. Thanks. Uh, thank you a million. And uh, yeah, man. Hopefully, I will see you around for <laughs> for not a freaking worse one. Um, and I'll definitely have to repractice this because uh, I think I had some of the ideas, but the implementation just went to total uh, bollocks. So, um, yeah. Everyone have a good late late evening. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I see. Is it really? Um. Like if I just take this. Oh, I see. Okay. I'll do it in the morning, yeah. All right, man. Take it easy. Thanks for all the tips, and, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you around, or, uh, I mean, hit me up uh, if you want to work on something, so. Uh, see you later, man.